I want you to hit me as hard as you can. Daniel Day-Lewis is kinda crazy. Character he never breaks when the cameras are on, off, or in between takes. He made the crew carry him around and even spoon feed him. Uh -oh. He's so crazy good you always believe him. No matter if he's playing Lincoln or a Native American, nobody, not nobody can compare to him. Guido, 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 Guido. In The Boxer, Day-Lewis broke his nose, trained with a real-world champion who said Daniel was as good as the pros. For Gangs of New York, Eminem was all he would listen to. And for In the Name of the Father, he lived in an abandoned prison, too. He voluntarily stayed in solitary confinement. That has to be some serious mess with your mind ship. <laughs> He lived in the woods for six months to become a Mohican and would only answer to Mr. President to whomever would speak to him. I'm Daniel Day-Lewis. My beautiful laundrette and a room with a view opened on the very same day. Isn't that strange? Two very different characters. In one day, he showed the world his range. He's a badass, rough and tough. Quite often he likes to bang his head on stuff. He learned to skin animals and build canoes. Daniel Day is so good he just can't lose. So you like the Oscars? Well, Daniel Day has the most. And during a theatrical production of Hamlet, he actually spoke to his father's ghost. He's an expert with a gun and throwing a knife. Was so dedicated to the Crucible, he made Arthur Miller's daughter his wife. Then acted in a movie that his wife directed and lived alone in a hut by the sea. You gotta respect, kid. That was called the Ballad of Jack and Rose, and sometimes he wears crazy jackets and clothes. He actually became a real-life butcher, a wonderful meat cutter. Daniel Day-Lewis is unlike any other. <laughs> he is the man, yo. And he even threw real bowling balls at Paul Dano. And this was after the original actor had quit because Lewis put fear in his heart. Daniel Day-Lewis does not act. He literally becomes the part. He built John Proctor's house with 17th century tools and lived in it because running water and electricity, well, that's for fools. I think God is dead! During my left foot, he broke ribs, not one, but two, and took years off to become a cobbler because that's what he likes to do. He picked fights with strangers on the set of that film by Martin Scorsese. You know, because he's so darn crazy. Even when he had pneumonia, he stayed true to history and only wore coats from the 19th century. He's the greatest of all time, but you already knew this. Got nothing but love for Mr. Daniel Day-Lewis.